Oh hi everyone, today I'm going to take you through the Excel Solver which is an awesome tool we can use to optimally set our campaign budgets within AdWords every month. Now this issue kind of came down from one of my clients who have, and they're, they're relatively small, they have $2,500 a month to spend and if we look at something like their lost impression share, we can, uh, due to budget, we can see that they have some options out there for how they allocate uh, that money within, within their account every month. Now what I actually wanted to do was show you how to use this tool because what it can do is optimally set your budgets, uh, your daily budgets by campaign and tell you, okay, if we spend X amount on campaign one, Y amount on campaign two, that's the way we're going to get the highest overall number of conversions within the account. So first thing first, uh, not all of you will have Solver, I'm just kind of highlighting it here, in your account, uh, in your Excel, sorry. Go into your tools, and I apologize to those of you out there on a PC, I'm using the Mac version of Excel 2011, and go into add-ins, and you should see an option, if not, you can select, and um, if you downloaded it, upload it from there. I've already got it installed, so I've kind of got it here. Um, on the PC, you can also look in your uh, Excel settings options and find it from there, otherwise just Google um, how to get Solver in Excel. So once you've got that, I kind of want to talk you through this, the steps you need to go through. So download a pretty simple campaign report from AdWords. All you'll need is your average CPC, your cost, your conversions or whatever your key metric is. It could be uh, many per click or one per click uh, or phone calls, anything along those lines. Your conversion rate, your search lost impression share by budget, and your content lost impression share by budget. And I'll kind of explain those in a moment. So if you don't have any display campaigns, you can just ignore this, and vice versa, if you don't have any search campaigns, you can ignore this one, uh, but you will need to download both of these. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to look and create manually an average daily spend um, column in here, and also a max possible daily spend. And these are kind of functions of using the solver to work out our maximum possible daily conversions. And let's just open these up a little. So our average daily spend, and there is kind of a caveat here that this isn't the perfect solution. What I'm gonna do is take my cost and divide it by the number of days in my data that I've downloaded. In this case, 30 for me. Uh, for you, you can use whatever number you feel comfortable with. If you've been changing your budgets a lot over the past you know, however many month and you, months, you might want to keep it to a range where you haven't changed your budgets. But also, you'll probably need to have a, a valid number of conversions within that campaign to, to give you statistical significance. So, once you have your kind of average daily spend numbers in here, the next thing to do is your max possible daily spend. So, this is, this is pretty simple. All it is is your average daily spend divided by 1 minus your lost impression share to budget. So that's just telling you if your budgets were completely opened up to like a million dollars a day, at your current bid levels, what would, uh, what would your traffic look like? So as you can see, this one has a 0% lost budget, so it's just exactly the same. Uh, these three, this one goes almost double because it's losing about 50% of the, the, the budget. This one stays the same. Now I have to quickly tweak this for um, campaign four here because it's actually a display campaign. So I'm doing H5 uh, divided by 1 minus and then my content loss budget and I'm going to copy that across to my bottom one there as well which is uh, also a display campaign and I'm going to copy the formula from this search campaign here. So what we now have, and I'll just quickly format this for you guys, what we now have is our maximum possible daily spend for each campaign uh, should we not change the CPCs. And this, this whole process is kind of designed around not changing your bids. This is just if you're trying to work out your budgets as a starting point. So the other thing I'm going to do is just work out uh, what all that comes to on a daily basis. So just quickly do a sum in here. And there we go. Now the next thing I want to add is my solved budgets. So this is, this is kind of what we're looking for the solver to do for us work out what our budgets should be where they optimally allocated within our maximum daily allowed. So our self budgets, I'm going to leave these blank, I'm just going to put them as zero for now. 
And um, what we do want to put in is our, um, so I'm going to call this, these our totals. We're going to put in our total maximum daily allowed budget. In my case, my budget is $2,500, and there's 31 days in May. So that's what my allowed maximum is going to be. I'm just going to 80.65. And actually what I'm going to do is just round this up a little bit because I know that all my campaigns won't necessarily spend, and I also prefer, just as a kind of strategic way of, of doing PPC, to spend a little bit hot at the start of the month by a couple of dollars, not a lot, just because if there's a, some down days in the month, it still enables me to spend everything. So I'm just going to set this at 85. We saw that 80.65 roughly was was kind of my um, optimum daily budget to hit my $2,500. Now I have that, I'm going to add in my solved clicks. And this is just a function of the new budget, whatever it works it out for, divided by my average CPC. So all that will do is uh, tell me how many clicks I'm going to get. And I'm just going to format this because it's, uh, it's not, not actually a dollar number, it's just a number. How many clicks I will get given this new budget. So if I were to change this number to $10, you can see it's telling me I'm going to get 24 to 25 clicks. Um, and that's going to be part of what Excel is going to work out for us here with Solver. The final part of the puzzle is solved conversions. You can name these whatever you want. Uh, this just kind of makes sense to me. So your solved conversions are essentially your clicks times your conversion rate historically. And I'm just going to drag that down. So all that's doing is taking uh, whatever the new budget work is worked out to be by Solver. It will work out how many clicks that will generate, and that will work out how many conversions that's going to lead to. So here we have our total number of conversions. And I'm just going to put this as our, just really obvious for you guys, that's the one solver is going to work out for us. So what we're going to try and do is maximize this field right down here, the total number of conversions in a day by changing our budgets around. Now how we do that is we click on the cell, then we go back into the data tab or wherever you've got your solver located, select solver, and it should bring up something like this. So my objective cell is L8 here, the total number of conversions per day. I'm trying to set it to a maximum, and I'm doing that by changing variable cells, and that's these ones. Um, that is my budget cells. So, so what it's going to do, Solver is going to change these budgets around until it maximizes this number. And as you can see, it's kind of all of a follow through formula process right here that's going to feed back into itself. Now, the only thing we have to do apart from that is to add some constraints. So what I'm going to do is add in the fact that our solve budgets have to be less than or equal to our maximum possible. And um, actually what I'm going to do is make a quick change in here in a sec just to show you guys. And we're also going to set this to simplex. So I'm just going to close that real quick. Uh, our maximum possible is also just 85 here. I shouldn't have done the sum. So that's, uh, and this is going to be the one that's summed. So our maximum possible is at $85. Uh, our solve budget is going to work. Our total here is going to add all of our new solve budgets together. And then if we look in the constraints, what's going to happen is it's going to say this number when adding all these together cannot possibly go over 85, while at the same time, none of these numbers can go over what we think is the maximum that that particular campaign can spend. So let's quickly go back into our solver. And we have all that set up now. And we have our simplex, so I'm just going to click solve. And hopefully, it will pull up the answer for us. So I'm just going to click keep solver solution. So what it's telling me is the maximum number of conversions I can possibly get in a day within my $85 budget 
is 2.41. I'm just going to format this for you guys just to make it a little clearer um, what's going on here. Okay, so what we can see is should we change our budgets to these new solved budgets which happen to add up to $85 which we've told it is our maximum allowable we should get 2.41 conversions per day. Now that's great, it seems to have worked and what I would do now is go back and say okay campaign one I'm changing your budget to 490, campaign two I'm changing it to 4848 uh, these are daily budgets. You can round a little bit, sometimes I'll do 5, 50, 1, 8, 25, 150, um, oh sorry that was the wrong column, 5, 50, 1, probably 1, 25, maybe 10. Uh, you can round just because those numbers are not going to be exact, you're, you're running on kind of a low number of conversions but you want it to be uh, roughly right and, and we've kind of got a good breakdown for it now. So I'm just going to sense check this which really is just taking my existing number of conversions, which happens to be 61, and that's over a 30-day period. So I'm just going to divide that by 30. And then we can see that by going from um, the old budgets and getting an average of 2.03 conversions per day, with the new budgets within my overall budget, I can get 2.41 conversions a day. So it's really simple to do. It's not going to apply to everyone out there, especially if you, you aren't capped by budget or um, you have to spend certain amounts in certain areas. But it's, it's a really neat tool that I don't think we use enough in PPC, especially for smaller accounts. And it also gives you a pretty good lay of the land. So I now know which my good campaigns are in terms of where I want to allocate all my budget. And also, it's just a good sense check for me to look and see where could I spend more budget. Um, hopefully this has been helpful. I did write another post on PPC Hero about this that you can refer back to. I'll put a link uh, just underneath this video. But if you have any questions, feel free to uh, drop a comment beneath this video or to contact me at Samo and PPC on Twitter. Thanks, guys. I'll see you soon.